When Carlos Grulin opened these doors a year ago, it was the start of a dream come true. The thing is my father, he, um, I, I was inspired by him. He came to uh, this country with nothing and he became a very successful business owner. Today, the doors of Grulin's own business feel a little heavier and they're opening a little later. Uh, I'm still processing it. It's the first time for me. I've never been in a situation like that. A 26 year old man was shot and killed right in this parking lot right outside of Grulin's convenience store in broad daylight on Tuesday afternoon. I heard um, a loud sound and I was I was just telling people that I never even heard. I never knew what a gunshot sounded like. The man who was killed by that gunshot now being remembered by the community as police search for the person responsible using the surveillance video from the cameras right outside of the store. This will mark their 12th homicide investigation of the year. Hey, it got to stop, man. It's dangerous. It's, you can't even let your kids out there play. As for 24-year-old Grulin, he now has to live with the aftermath. Everything that's going on in that store, like I'm really proud of that kid in here and I, I feel really bad. And while Grulin grieves for the family who lost someone, he's getting by with support from his customers. I do appreciate all my customers. I love them very much. Um, and I felt, I felt that back yesterday. And he will continue to welcome them with open doors. In Waterbury, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.